about being that light. Amen. Amen. And it's talking to everybody else and she's being this. I thank God for Sister Ford because she let everybody know no matter who she talked to, who she loved. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Amen. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. Some people get in a knockdown, drag out. People I ain't got time for that. I'm just going to tell you who I love, who means the most to me. That's right. You can take it or you can leave it. And we give God the praise. Good word, yes, woman Lord. of God. We give you the praise. Give God the praise tonight for you for those words. Y'all give my hand. What are good words? Encouraging words. Encouraging words. Amen. Amen. We have one more person that's going to pray the word of God tonight. Yes. Woman of God, she's been sitting down for quite a while. She's been sitting down on her do nothing except. Well, she's been praising the Lord. <laughs> but she ain't been preaching. Amen. So tonight, we want to hear from Prophetess Clark. Yes. Come on up here and prophesy a oh, preach out the way the Lord leads you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. You coming up there? You want to stay over that way? Don't stay over that way. Okay, well, praise the Lord. Praise, up, praise, up. praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. I just thank and honor God on tonight. Thank God for Pastor and Mama Jay. I'm so nervous. Oh my God, I haven't been up here in a while, but there's truly a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. And I've been here at this word, <laughs> but it is a right now word, and it speaks to me. And it came for me today. So we're going to, um, Lord God, I just, we're going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I just ask that you bless this word, God. God, let this word set out, God, what you want it to do, God. God, let yokes be destroyed, God. Let relationships be rebuilt, rebuilt, God. God, let somebody even just draw closer to you on tonight, God. And God, I just give you the glory, God. I just thank you, God. And God, I'm asking that you live, move, Lord God, in me, God. Just stretch out. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So, Mama Jane, I'm going to get you to read for me. Amen. Praise, God. Praise the Lord. So, my topic is, it's time to get back to the power. Yeah. It's time to get back to the power. And I'm going to start, God gave me this story. Like I said, I've been at this message. But he chose this story, this situation for me to lead off with. So, we're going to go to Judges. 16 and 1. And we're going to start right there. And if you can read for me, Judges 16 and verse 1. And I'll just kind of, you know, stop me in between. Yes, ma'am. Judges chapter 16 and verse 1. Yes. And it reads Then went Samson to Gaza and saw there an harlot. And went in unto her. And it was told the Gazites, saying, Samson is come hither. And they compassed him in and laid wait for him all night in the gate of the city. And were quiet all the night, saying, In the morning, when it is day, we shall kill him. Okay. So I just want to stop right there. I just want to give a little back drop on the story. Okay, we know that um, Samson, he married a woman of the Philistines. And from the beginning, his parents, they already knew that it wasn't good. But Samson, he admired this woman. So he was, you know, associated with this woman, spending time with this woman. And he wanted this woman really bad in spite of what his family thought of this woman. And so, by him being affiliated with this woman, it caused him some hardship. You know, even though he went through some hardships, the Spirit of the Lord was still with Samson. But this was just the beginning of him getting away from the power. See, I want y'all to see what Samson's hangover was. It was a woman. And I want to know tonight, what is your hangover that's keeping you away from the power? Because God is saying it's time to get back to the power. Amen. So when through all this, he got entangled with this woman. And when he got entangled with this woman, he ended up doing some things because as he was out fighting, the his father in law ended up giving his wife to somebody else. So he got mad and he did something upon the Philistine's land. And I'm just you know, paraphrasing a little bit. He did something in that land. And when they heard about it, they said, Who did this? They said, Samson. So guess what happened? Due to Samson getting out the will of God and stepping out of his power, it caused his 
his wife and his partner-in-law to be killed. So sometimes when we step away from the power, it can cause people to be killed. People that we love, it can cause us to die when we step away from the power. That's why God wants us to get back to the power. Okay, go ahead and read on, Mama Jay. And Samson lay till midnight and arose at midnight and took the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts and went away with them, bar and all, and pulled them upon his shoulders and carried them up to the top of a hill that is before Hebron. And it came to pass afterward that he loved a woman in the valley of Sori, whose name was Delilah. Come on, what's your Delilah on tonight? That was God. Come on, we all got something. What's your Delilah that God, that the enemy, I mean, can use and take you from the power? Amen, it's right. This is the time for us to search ourselves. What is that Delilah, Delilah in us? See, here's with a woman. What is yours on tonight? That's keeping you from walking in the fullness of God. Go ahead, Mama Jay. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him, and see wherein is his great strength like. My Lord. And by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we will give thee every one of us 1,100 pieces of silver. How many know that's what the devil want to do to us? He want to find where that source spot is. Hallelujah. And then he want to bind us. Hallelujah. And take us from that power. Hallelujah. Come on. And Delilah said to Samson, tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. That's how the devil do. You know she don't like you. You know he don't like you. He'll talk to that thing that you deal with if you don't confess it. So you give him ammunition. See, here we go again. Again, Samson was a woman. It was always a woman that he was chasing after. So guess what? Even I want to go back. Even with his wife, and Samson had a room. He said, if you can figure this out, then I'm going to give you this and that. Guess who they went to to get it out of? The woman. The woman. That was his weakness. So the enemy knows your weakness, and he can go to people that's in the same state you in. You know such and such and such and such. Next thing you know, you pound. Yes, Lord. You pound. Just like that, your power pound up. You got the Holy Ghost, but your power bound. Jesus, go ahead, Mama J. And Samson said unto her, If they bind me with seven green wit that were never dry, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Now look how that lying spirit got on. <laughs> See that when you sit down on the bottom? Yes. Yes. All this stuff can creep in on. Yes. Lust, yeah. adultery, yeah. fornication, Lying spirit, yes. backbite. Yes. Right. See what you get with the enemy. Yes. He look, he was chosen from a child. Come on, now God was with him. I'm talking to the saints, the ones with the Holy Ghost. Yes. God is with us. We've been chosen, yes. but we yet will allow the enemy to bind us up with that thing that we won't confess. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That lying spirit got on sex. My God. Go ahead, Mama J. Then the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven green wits, which yeah, had God. not been dried, and she bound him with them. Yeah. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he brake the whip as a thread of tow to broken when it touches the fire. So his strength was not known. Come on, the Holy Ghost was still moving on him. Yeah. Holy Ghost was still with him. He was lying, but the Holy Ghost was still with him. Because we know where his strength is. So the Holy Ghost was still with Samson, giving him a chance. Go ahead. Lord. And Delilah said unto Samson, Behold, thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Now spirit. tell me, I pray thee, where would thou mightest be bound? The devil was using her. Yes. Come on, how many know the devil come to wear the patience of the faith? He come to wear out our patience. Yeah, right. yeah. Go ahead, Mama J. And he said unto her, 
If they bind me fast with new ropes, come on, that were never occupied, Jesus, then shall I be weak and be as another man. My Lord. And Delilah therefore took new ropes and bound him therewith and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. Jesus. And there were liars in wait abiding in the chamber. And he break them from off his arms like a thread. Yes. And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be found. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the way. And now, she, now wait a minute, Mama Jay. The Lord was still with them. Yes. Still giving them a chance to repent. Let's get back to the Bible. Yes. But he's so infatuated with this woman, he just, he ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Yeah. Just, if this lie can hold down, ooh, just lie. Yeah. Come on, nice. The enemy will hold us, y'all, with a lie. Come on. Come on. He will get us back slid with a lie. Come on, right. Right. Take us yeah. from all the fullness of God. He said, after the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive power. But you see how the enemy will come in and just sift out power? Slowly. He just walking slowly. Slowly. I'm still coming to church. He just walking us slowly. I'm still saying he walking us slowly. We think that we're doing everything that's pleasing in God our sight, but we die in the spirit. We got the natural pack down, but spiritually we die. Because of the enemy, because of that thing that we won't let go to get back to the power. Yeah. Go ahead, Mama Jay. And she fastened it with the pen and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awaked out of his sleep and went away with the pen of the bean and with the whale. And she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee when thine heart is not with me? Thou hast mocked me these three times and has not told me where when thy great strength lies. See, that's how the devil do. When you was in the world, you had this. Man, you remember all them men was chasing after you when you was in the world? You remember how you had all them girls? Come on, quit playing and come on all the way over over my side. Yeah, come on. The devil, he just keep playing with something to you. Come on. Yeah. You remember when you was over there? Man, they was doing this over there. They still say. You remember that? Man, you remember that sister preacher? She went down my spine. But she all backed out, but she still saved. But God said, I called you to holiness. I called you to be set apart. But she still saved. But we talk about what God got for you in order for you to get back to the power. That you can be effective in what God called you to do. Go ahead, Mama Jack. And it came to pass. When she pressed him daily with her words. The enemy just pressing you. You on your way out the door. He just pressing you. Jesus. He got you on the way out the door. Pressing you. You got the Holy Ghost, yeah. You say, I hear from God. But somewhere you've been contaminated. And he's binding you up and walking you slowly. I can testify. He was binding me up by my situation. Hallelujah, I can preach on myself. I said, I'm the one to prove. He was binding me up. I was giving him more power than what he had. But God said, I'm free. So I'm free to climb out tonight. Hallelujah. I'm free. Hallelujah. To climb out and spare not. Hallelujah. My Delilah has been exposed. Ha, ha. Hallelujah. It's been exposed. Hallelujah. I'm no longer bound. Hallelujah. It can't take my power. I got my power back. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Go ahead, on, Mama Jack. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily with her words and urged him so that his soul was vexed. Jesus. Unto death. And you think your, your spirit vexed because of somebody else. No, it's the devil. Come on, it ain't your sister, it ain't your brother, it's the devil. It ain't the people on your job, it's the devil. That's who it is. It ain't the mouth. It's the devil. Yeah, come on. That word come to cleanse us. Yes. Man, it lit me up. I said, Jesus. I wasn't looking for that. Yes. Jesus. Yes. My Lord. But guess what? It was able to lose me. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. It was able to lose. Yes. The Bible says that chest not. It don't feel good. But guess what? It'll give you more food in the end. Hallelujah. It'll break some fruit. Go ahead, Mama Jack. 
that he told her all his heart and said unto her, there have not come a razor upon my head. Oh Lord, he didn't hit that spot. She hit that spot this time. That thing cut deep. He working on you. This is for the saints. The enemy working on you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's about to get deep now. You waste deep now, as they say. What you gonna do? You gonna forsake that in long? What you gonna do? Or you gonna hold to it? Go ahead. For I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me. Jesus. And I shall become weak and be like any other man. Now let me say this right here. See, we look at, he said it was his life. But don't you know if the enemy can get you out of church, you won't be just like any other sinner. Because guess what? Some, some people got purpose right here. Right. And to an appointed time before God lose you. Yeah. But if you get ahead of God, guess what? Yes. You're going to miss that power. Yeah, you're going to miss it. Yeah. The devil lied to you. You're going to miss it. He's going to say, you can, you, can, you can do it over here. But this ain't what God said. Yeah. This ain't your season. Yeah. And you're going to lose your power. You will say, well, I can go over here and do it. I can go out there and do it. But it ain't going to be the same. Come on now. That anointing ain't going to be like God wanted it to be. Yes. Because you're going to be in disobedience. Hallelujah. Yes. My God, go ahead. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines mm. and said, Come up to this once, once, for he has showed me all his heart. Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and brought money in their hand. And she made him sleep upon her knees. And she called for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks. My Lord, what would a man give in exchange for his soul? Man. He gave up the very thing that God had anointed him to, to with that would allow him to operate in the power. Yes. He had so many victories before he met this woman. Yes. He had conquered so much, slew lions with his bare hands. So many, I'm, I'm talking the Spirit of God was with this man. Yes. The Spirit of God is with you, woman of God. The Spirit of God is with you, man of God. Don't let the enemy sidetrack you from the power. Amen, that's right. Amen. My God, this man was victorious. Amen, right. Some of us got some victorious ministries in us. Amen. But if we get away from the power, we will never know. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. Mm. And she began to afflict him. Mm. And his strength went from him. And she said, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at another times before. Power gone, man. And shake myself. Woo! Some of us don't believe that we can lose it. That's no scary. He said, I'm true. Some of us, we get in these places and we say, well, we'll get together sooner or later. The power gone. Did y'all hear that? He said he gonna do it for the time before he thought he was just gonna shake it off. Some of them shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. It ain't nothing now. Ain't nothing came back. Woo. Could you imagine that? You done played with the devil for so long, saints. Now you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. You know the Holy Ghost moving in here, but you just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. In the power of God. Oh, Lord. Oh, that scared me. Jesus. Lord. That's how the enemy can do us. Man, the Holy Ghost was there all alone. But that Delilah. Oh, Lord. Y'all didn't scare me so bad. Like, whoa. That woman, it was a woman. It can be a man. 
That spirit will bind you up. You can't think right. You can't talk right. You can't have way dress right. You might come in church and dress right, but then in your house you're doing something else. Because your mind's so balled up. And you just say, mm, I'm going to shake it off. Woo. Boy. You say, I'm going to shake it off. Go ahead. I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. Mm. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes. Jesus. See what the devil want to do? Not only blind you, he wants to destroy, kill, steal, and destroy. Amen, that's, right. yes. that's what he want to do for the saints. He already got the world. But now that you're a witness, he got to do everything that he can to beset us. Everything he can to get us to look at one another crazy. Come on. Come on. Been now. Yeah. He want to do all that. She ain't real. She just fake it. I don't know what. He ain't real. He's so fake. Man. We got to get that Delilah spirit out. I want my power. He just said, oh my, long enough. I want my power. Go ahead. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes. Jesus. And brought him down to Gaza and bound him with the fetters of brass. And he did grind in the prison house. Mm. How did the hair of his head began to grow again? Come on. After he was shaven. Come on. Then the lords of the Philistines gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon, their God, and to rejoice. For they said, Our God have delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. And when the people saw him, they praised their God, for they said, Our God have delivered into our hands our enemy, and the destroyer of our country, which slew many of us. And it came to pass, when their hearts were merry, yes. that they said, Call for Samson, that he may make us sport. And they called for Samson out of the prison house. And he made them sport. And they set him between the pillars. Come on. And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand. Have mercy. Suffer me that I may feel the pillars whereupon the house standing. He go mercy. Mercy is here tonight. Go ahead, my That I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women. Yes. And all the lords of the Philistines were there. And there were upon the roofs about 3,000 men and women that beheld why Samson made sport. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O oh God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O oh God, that I may be at once avenged by the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, and on which it was born of, of one of the one with his right hand, and of the other with his left. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. Jesus. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the Lord's, oh, and upon God. all the people that were there, what that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Jesus. So God vindicated him in the end. But we don't want to have to get to that state. All that he went through chasing behind a woman. Jesus. Come on now. We don't want to have to get to that state dealing with things that we don't want to confess and let go. In order to get to a root of a thing, we got to confess it. So that it won't be the denial in our life and keep us from getting back to the power. This man, he took out thousands. More than he was in his full able body. But, Lord, I don't want to have to be in that state just to be vindicated. I want to serve God with all my strength. With all my white mind, with all the activities of my limbs. 
that are functioning properly right now. So even though he was vindicated, you don't have to go that far. You can just forsake and get back to the power. And I'm going to go to Matthew 11 and 12. And it says, and from those days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven self for violence and the violence take it by force. And so I'm looking, I'm like, Lord, what are you saying when the kingdom of heaven self for violence? It said, it making, making a convert effort to enter to the kingdom in spite of violent opposition. No matter what you go through, you're going to make up in your mind that I'm getting into the kingdom. That I'm going to get back to the power. I'm going to do what I got to do. Concerted means mutually contrived or agreed upon. We got to come to agreement that we're going to do whatever it takes to get back to the power. And it says opposition can come in many forms, such as a carnal mindset, the lust of your flesh. These are the things that take us out the way and keep us from the power. As we can see through the demonstration, that's what happened to Sam Samson and took him away from the power. Because he began to walk after the lust of his flesh. And we're going to go to Acts 1 and 8. And it said, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and Judea and in Samaria and to the other most parts of the earth. That means we can be a, a witness in Pensacola. You can be over here in say Grand Bay, Down the Bay, PA. God called us to be a witness. As the woman of God saying, but in order to be effective in those areas, we got to get back to the power. And we're going to go to Romans 8, 12, 18. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. But if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye, through the Spirit, do modify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For if many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage, again to fear. But ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. So guess what? We've been adopted in. We don't own this flesh nothing. We're not debtors to our flesh. But we're debtors to Christ. Because he told us to present our body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto him, which is our reasonable servant. And if we do that, that's how we get back to the power. Anybody want to get back to the power? I'm some of that yoke destroying power. Not just coming to church and, and nothing change of power. That anointing, that destroy your power. We, it's time to get back to the power. And it said, Romans, which I just read, I beseech you therefore by the brethren by the mercies of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reason of serving, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what that is good, and acceptable in the perfect will of God. There again, we have to renew our minds. The reason we're not effective and we're not walking in a power like we need to because our minds haven't been renewed. And we got to get back to renewing our mind daily. And then I'm going to go to Hosea 10 and 12 and say, Sow to yourself in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your father's ground, for it's time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down righteousness upon you. It's time. It's time for us to seek the Lord till he rain down. Anybody need the Lord to move? Some things ain't going to come until you get back to the power. I need God to rain down righteousness. He said we got to weep in mercy. I want to weep in mercy. I need God to break up some body ground. The enemy has planted some seeds and I need God to break it up. And I got to get back to the power so God can do that. And I just want to encourage you to say, finally, my brother, Ephesians 6, 10 and 11, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
I want y'all to be encouraged and put on the whole armor of God. That we can stand against the laws of the devil. That we can walk in that power. Amen. And I want to leave y'all with one other thing. And like I said, I, I, I've been had this, so it's like, wow, when I was asked to, to do this. Not expecting it, Lord knows. One more. So, um, God allowed me to get this analogy. It said, you're like a policeman in the spirit world. A officer has a badge which gives him authority and, we and a weapon which provides power to back up the authority. Criminals are afraid of officers because of the authority and the power that they carry. It said, when you recognize that the authority and the power has already been given to you over the devil, the enemy panics. He said, he is, he is the criminal and you are the officer, and you have the power of heaven backing you up. How many know you got the power of heaven backing you up? You the officer on tonight, and the enemy is the criminal, and you can take him to loose and let go so that you can get back to the power. I just want y'all to be encouraged tonight that we have power over the enemy. So I just ask the saints, y'all just pray for me.